Hey, what is up, y'all? Eric here. I'd like to welcome y'all to Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare, the DLC. I'm very excited to try this again. I played this before way long time ago, but of course, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out, so here we are. Without further ado, let's get started. Months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost everything. Anything. Or anything. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool, huh? But yes, you had to see my other episodes of the whole season of Red Dead Redemption 1. The playlist will be in the description. Please check it out. Now it's Rockstar's and Dale Productions. Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. <laughs> Is that better? Your lordship. <laughs> Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. <laughs> Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. <laughs> Here we are. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you off drinking in the fields. I mean working. As you call it <laughs> uh, he drink drunk already. After we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Uh -oh. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You can't psychic ball? Either that or I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking. Seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. What you reading? Hey, Jack, what you reading? Just some book about monsters. Hmm, cute. Tell me about it. Yeah, tell us. It's kind of dumb. That should suit me just fine. I would say the same thing if I had kids like that. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during mm -hmm. full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. Mm. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is, there's this one guy, and he goes out in search of the sun. Cause y'all don't know what they're talking about. He's talking about zombies and stuff like that. The undead. Leaves him all alone. So, anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. <laughs> it's getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on, yep. then, Abigail. <laughs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure. But he'll have to wait till morning, just like any other man would in his shoes. 
Night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. And this is a moment where spit really hits the fan. I'm not cursing just to let y'all know, but yeah, this is where spit hits the fan. Uh oh. Uncle! You okay, old man? Nah, he's a zombie. Aim, uncle, uncle looks uglier than before. What the hell is wrong with you? Hit him. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Where are you going? Where are you going? To get my gun. No dip. Get my gun. God damn it. Where'd you going? I thought you could get your gun. Oh, you had to get a gun from the barn, really? All the way to the barn. You could at least give a pistol or something in your bed or something. Oh, one woman, one! Creepy uncle, on the loose. Oh! Uh oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. You dumb son of a bitch, stop! What? Uncle? Yeah, okay, I gotta put you down. Now you look uglier. I push down, Uncle. Sorry. Ooh. What'd you do to her, you sick bastard? No dip. Uh oh. She's gonna get affected. It's like Walking Dead, Dawn of the Dead, House of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead. You name it. The movies from George Romero, whoever is in zombies film directors. Oh boy. Jack! Get out here! Now! Oh, good lord, what's happened? Mama! Careful, boy! Mama. Careful, boy! What? Oh! Mama. Oh, grad. Stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me no widower now. Uh, what are you gonna do? I'll get the rope. Get it. Of course, you're not gonna kill your own family. He, he, what he's doing is trying to tie them up. Just a little spoil alerts if you haven't seen it. Sorry, do we need to spoil? Now stay there while I deal with your half witted son. There you go. What's that old fool done to you? Gotcha. Maybe this will remind you how to behave. Yeah, no kidding. Well, except for a zombie apocalypse like this. Or whatever. There you go. Oh, woman. I'll slap you. And you too, son. All right. What are you gonna do? Oh, he's giving meat, something to eat. Whoa, 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 woman, calm down. I don't know what the hell's gotten into you, sick, crazy bastards, or what I've done to you, but I'm going to get help. Yeah. Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack. Be kind to your mother. Better be, boy. Teach the boy right from wrong. Better be, woman. Stop biting chunks out of people. <laughs> be back as soon as I can. Oh, we need to get our gear up, man. Can't go out with the pajamas. That's what I'm talking about. The real Jack is back. The real John Morrison's back. I mean. Oh, yeah. Guess I best go find me a doctor in town. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Hmm. I like this outfit, but find uh, find help in the black water. Okay, but first I want to change this outfit real quick. I mean, I like this outfit, but I like something more real western. So... 
change outfits. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now that's real western. Alright. That's my horse. There you are. Come on. Let's go. Let's go to Blackwater. Come on. But yeah, just let y'all know I played this before, so... Mm-hmm. If y'all haven't seen it, sorry me, just spoiled it. the black water dang Come on. okay we're here we're all going to god save us dang I wonder what happened to these folks yeah yeah they probably need help more than I do Oh, that's a crack kid. That's a crack kid, Professor. What are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. Well, I did. But uh, I came back uh, for another round of research. <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. Yeah, no kidding. What is going on? Well, well sir, I am a man of science, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man. And I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why ain't that, Dan? <laughs> well, what should we do? Survive. Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors. Hey. Band together and find a cure, or fight to the death trying. Well, yep. that sounds great and all, but uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I I, I think too much crack is getting to you, dude. You need to calm down. This lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. <laughs> I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. No, no, be, be, perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, oh, he's I'm next. Gonna wander down that. He's gonna be dead in a few seconds. And get my back. Wait, you should stay with me, Professor. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. <laughs> I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. Uh, you remember him. Uh, Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but, uh, but a good sort. Okay. Well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. <gasps> All right. Oh, I knew it. He's dead. Oh, boy. Uh oh. That's an Indian guy that was killed on the Red Dead Redemption series. Gotcha. Right toward the head. Sorry, Professor. Gotta put you out of your miseries right now. Come on then! More than happy to rob you as well. Hmm. More shotgun shield. Oh snap, I gotta hide. Here we are. What the? Woman, be quiet. Anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? Maybe here, mister. Okay, keep it down, please. Because you're loud. It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. Yeah. Bad joke. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, come out. They got my family, mister. 
Well, mine too, dude. Mm-hmm. I saw my mom rip my daddy's face off and drink his blood. Ugh. And they were happily married 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. We were so glad to see my mom. Because she's been dead for three years from the smallpox. What? Three years? Mama was dead? She came back from the dead. Onto the porch. Mister, he weren't sure he liked to drink, but but he weren't bad. And sure, he liked the company of women. Woman, please, can you tell me what's going on? No one deserves to have their blood drunk. I mean, he knew how to use his fist. And if, if a woman spoke out her place, he reminded her of it and everything. And when my mama was dying, People said that he was lying with her sister, but that weren't true, mister, it weren't. But you said your mother was dead. Yeah, her and Mr. Braithwaite, he's been dead a year. And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. Ugh. And he loves animals. That's like animal cruelty. All the dead... For a zombie apocalypse. Life, mister. Only they ain't happy. It's a funny kind of salvation. Probably worse than a salvation. <laughs> Folk buried at the cemetery over by the churchyard. My God, I'm gonna go have a look. You wanna come? No, I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Well, I'll put them down for you. Here, Mister, take this. Oh. You can burn them. Maybe you can put their souls to rest. Okay. I, uh, Mister. Yep. You see my uncle Mordecai? Mm-hmm. Burn him. Burn him real good, you hear? Okay, no problem. Let's go. Torch. Burn the bodies and clear the undead by the at the uh, Blackwater Cemetery. Well, let's get my horse real quick before we can do something. Your horsey. Where are you? There you are. What you going? All right. Come on, let's go. This is like a Walking Dead, you know. You know, Walking Dead where Grimes or whoever the characters they ride on the horses. Since you can't use vehicles, I mean, you can use vehicles as long as you know they get berries or whatever. But yes, we are here right now at the cemetery. All right, let's go. Ah. You stay here, horsey. All right, burn the coffin. There, there we go. See what happens? Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here it comes. Zombies! I got all the zombies. Okay. Best I can do is trying to burn as much of those as I can. There we go. Now. Let's get the zombie killer. Got it. Time for my pound of flesh. Well, that didn't go well. There we go.
got it. What a guy. Ain't that huge fat. Kill more Kai and the rest of the undead. No problem. Bingo. Blackwater graveyard. Clean. Clins. Yeah, looks clear now. Slim pickings off the undead. Sorry, Morakai. You know how things goes. When you did, nothing we could do. What comes to zombie apocalypse, obviously. Let's one search everything. All right, there we go. Now, now let's. I guess we'll go back to the black water and see what happens. Here, horsey. Come on. There you go. This town is under attack. In order to sleep here, he's okay. Shut your bodies. Come on. Really? Oh, snap! Sheesh. Alright. I guess I'll shoot your bodies later. Right now. Yeesh. Coming. All right. I, it tells me I, I could give like the ammunition to the guys, to the civilians. Try and stay alive now. As long as possible. That is just what I need. I'm just doing what I can. Don't let the first one fight. Alright. Kill the remaining zombie undead to save the town. Okay, no problem. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Miss, miss, miss. You're really starting to annoy me. Come on now, boy. Bring it. Oh yeah! This town's been saved. Nice. I miss the fresh corpses. All right. Guess we'll check out and see how's everybody doing. <laughs> Y'all okay? Folks okay? Oh, just fan. 
fantastic. I just saw my daughter get eaten by some creature sent straight from hell. Thanks for asking. I'm kind of sorry I did. I feel the same thing. Sister, forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Well, it's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Just shut the goddamn border, or things like this happen. Sheesh. Some satanic demons love. What a freaking Trump supporters! I hate to say it. Come on, y'all, blaming us Hispanics. What do we ever do, y'all? Trump supporters. I ain't a wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Thanks for the input, cowpoke. Oh, got flesh eating monsters feasting on my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. Oh, what in the world did my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man. Oh, not now, Doreen. Not this again. <laughs> your daddy was a, a, a bully and a drunk. Well, you ain't no kind of man. <sighs> Listen. Sheesh. I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscences. Is there anything I can do to help? Have you got any idea of how we can survive? Well, you could try shooting them creatures, you dumb fool. Dang. Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, you're a man of great patience. <laughs> See? That fella ain't hiding away like a little girl who's wet herself. <laughs> oh my gosh, these these families are so Trump supporters. I hate to say it. What do you want me to do? I ain't God. That surely you ain't. Oh, you're as useless as a four car flush. Oh gosh, should have married Bert <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to listen to this conversation. I'm sorry. These people are so Trump supporters. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Enough with the Trump supporters and all that. Let's just get going. Hey, you one of them, mister? Do I look like one of them? Well, don't come no closer. We made that mistake before. Lost half our number. I ain't one of them, you fool. Well, how do I know? They can't speak. I ain't taking no chances. Kill him, he's one of them. Yeah. No, I ain't. Don't take no chances, Silas. Have it your way, all right? Listen, I ain't coming no closer. Do you know what's going on? It's the glass eye. The freak with oh, the glass eye. Seth? This. No, 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 it's the snake oil man. Ah, uh, Mr. West Dickens. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been drugged down. What's up with some of supporters? Don't really? <laughs> Say it's drugs. Hey, don't come no closer now. Stand back. Apparently, it's worse in New Austin. Must be where it came from. And it looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's the glass eye. I blame the Mexicans. Okay, here comes the Trump supporters again. You don't know nothing. You always was an ignorant shrew. Oh. husband's glad he's dead. Get him. Well, at least my husband never took favors from the stargazers, Lucille Billings. Get him! You say you're sorry, you hillbilly white trash! Get him! We're gonna rebuild America like this. Well, see, I thought we had it all decided. We was gonna be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader, who happens to be me. Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America. That's the same thing. <laughs> we never had that decided. We decided we would hold elections and that I would be leader. You can't even uh -oh. lead. Well, I, I got zombies gravy. behind them. Well, I mean, gravy. I mean, uh, folk respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Anders. Me. Now pay her. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess their plan was not work that way they hope. You know it. Bam. 
You're joking. Well, since Lady's got bitten, you know to jail. Bam. Okay, y'all. Let me start this. There we go. We're gonna stop right here for this one, y'all. But uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all do enjoy. There we go. Don't forget to leave a like and awesome comment. Tell me what y'all think. Yes, I'm gonna continue on with this Undead Nightmare before I do Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, and seeing the Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption, the uh, first series, the playlist will be in the description. Please check it out. Don't forget to hit the sub button, follow Twitter and Instagram in the description. I hope you'll enjoy, and as always, see y'all next time.